when Bio joins and we start listening to what was going on and we start practicing, the very first practice we have, we all look at each other like, what the hell did we just do? Like, this actually sounds good. Let's yeah. keep going. And we were and we were like, we all sat down. And we were like, you know what? Let's try to take it serious. Ladies and gentlemen, our Apple Music Up Next artist, Grupo Frontera, has entered the building. Give it up once again. Yo, who's got the best grito in the group? Oh, me. Man. Let me uh, hear it. Let me hear it. I'm kind of... <laughs> right. So let's go around. Let's go around. We want to meet everybody, get the voice associated with the names. Let's start with you, my man that plays the congas ever so effortlessly. How you doing? I'm Julian Pena, conga player. And uh, I've never understood what the name would be in English. Hype man, I guess. Yeah. In English, it sounds so weird. When you How say you say it in man. Spanish? Animador. I like it. Yeah, because hype man, I, people imagine just dude just jumping around like, yeah. That's basically, well, that's basically you, bro. No, you play right. instrument too. Don't let them play you like that. No, bro. I do play the instrument. Yeah, I, do play, I do play Kongs, but, but you get the crowd hype too. Yeah. yeah. That's my job. All right, and you, sir. My name's Adelaido, but everybody calls me Payo. Solis the third. The third, yeah. The third. <laughs> Dad made sure the third was on there, yeah. right? Yeah, that was a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> and you, sir. My name is Juan Javier Cantu. I'm the accordion player in Second Boys. That's right. I was talking, we're going to learn about the, uh, the essential. Accordion in this conversation today. Yes, sir. Because that's an essential instrument. And you, sir? Alberto Costa, I play the guitar. All right. Yeah. And you? Uh, Carlos Guerrero, and I'm the drummer. There it goes. Yeah. So, Grupo, group, obviously, but Frontera, meaning border, because you guys yeah. are from a uh, town right there, uh, border, Texas and Mexico. But today we celebrate the music. Um, and I would love to, I would love, who wants to tell me more about the sound that you guys are making? Uh, because uh, not only uh, Musica Mexica Mexicana is blowing up around the world and blowing up on the charts, but specifically the style you guys are doing. When you talk about Musica Mexicana, there's a bunch of different genres inside of, inside of that name. You know, there's like, there's corridos, there's right, uh, tumbado, banda, yeah. banda, all that. We're based off of a type of music called cumbia norteña. Mm -hmm. Norteña being from where we're at. Because, North. Yeah, because we've tried like telling people or asking other people if they've listened to groups we grew up listening to, they have no idea who they are. Right. And well, our style of music is has that base of cumbia norteña that we grew up listening to, but we incorporate a lot of new like yes. new instruments, the modern words, the modern lyrics, and all that. And it's something that we say that all generations can listen to, because. Los viejitos, like our grandparents, they got... <laughs> the OGs. Yeah, they'll, they'll jam out to it and they dance. So, um, you know, I'm obviously coming from the States, I put everything through kind of like the hip-hop kind of lens of how, you know, uh, music is evolves here and people celebrate music through generations here. So I love to hear that explanation, right? Because it's generational music and it's bringing forward tradition. It's bringing forward sounds that are very familiar. So it's it's bringing people together and the community together, mm -hmm. right? You mentioned it, our grandparents, right? The OGs, they yeah. used to send letters. They used to uh, go out there and sing for their, for their girls outside the window yeah, and right. stuff like that. Now what we do, we send text messages. <laughs> Right. We slid into well, the unless your phone's on one percent, then you in trouble. There you go. There you go. You're in trouble go. out here, B. <laughs> so that's that's pretty much what we're doing. Keeping the same music, same sound, just switching up the lyrics. So so Beto, how long has the group been together? So the group started like two years ago, almost two years ago. Yes, uh, we started on uh, practicing on Carlos' uh, garage. Uh, just five friends, uh, just jamming. Jumping to music. We were talking about the accordion and the instruments that you guys use in this music. It's very traditional, but you were telling me the accordion is a is a must have. When people hear the accordion right out right away, they they can tell what type of music is gonna be. Giving it the accordion and the type of the drum, how, how the drum plays in the congas, that's right away gives it up a way that it's a cumbia norteña, and it's weird because the cumbia norteña. Uh, has it, did it was not that popular for a long time, and then we. We started playing for local, to play in local places like uh, quinceañeras, weddings and everything, and bailes, they call it, and it blew off. So Just went crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, and the, the thing we were, t Julian was saying in Payo, that, that all, all the los viejillos, the old people, young and adults and everybody, everybody's enjoying it because we're bringing back a sound that was there before in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. On the cover of the album. All right, and I've noticed in a lot of the videos, there's always a truck nearby. Yeah, always yeah. a truck nearby. It's his truck. That's your truck. Yeah, Pride and joy, isn't it? Hell yeah. <laughs> so did you buy? Did you put it? To, was this a put together? You know, I'm a car guy. So did you buy it like this, or was this something you worked on with your own hands? They're working on it right now. Got it. <laughs> That's like something 
from the culture. Yeah. From where we're at. For sure. Everybody has like their daily and then they have their project. Their collector truck. car. Yeah. Their, yeah. Yeah. So I bought that truck. The way it is in the picture, they fixed it up for me in the picture, too, because it was looking kind of bad. But, yeah, I'm working on it right now. Now, tell me about some other artists on here. Manuel Turizo. It's a great guy, man. That, that one was a surprise yeah, song. That was, yeah, that, that was, was another song. surprise. That came out two weeks after the album came out. So it, it got added to the album. As an artist, he's already somebody that the audience was... Yeah. He's been around for a second. So that was a big deal for you guys to collab with him? Yeah, because he, he's not from Mexico. So that's the... Uh, that was the cool part about about it. Like he's Colombian. Yeah, it was more like he, of an international he, yeah. song. So he's, yeah. he, he hasn't made music with a, like the type of music we're doing. So it was something new. It was like kind of the Bad Bunny deal. Like Bad Bunny. Right, it's taking it to a new audience. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love that. And uh, what about uh, Grupo Firme? We love those guys. Man, those guys are cool. Yeah. We recorded the song the same day we recorded the video. Right? So they pulled up like at 8 at night. And our director was like, you know what? It'll look better if we record at 6 in the morning. We made carne asada. We were eating tacos. We, the, I mean, you have two groups of like seven people each, six people each in a house. What are you going to do? We were singing all night long. Yeah. Bro. Me and Edwin, they lead singing. We were getting tattoos while we were singing. It was, it was the, honestly, it was one of the best nights I've Straight had. party. Yeah. And Karin Leon. Right after No Seva comes out, um, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. And then uh, Edgar comes up to us and he goes, you know what, Karin Leon... Is down to do a song with y'all. And we're like, what? Really? Like, are you, are you serious? I'm so like, it must yeah. have been out of, just out of appreciation for the music that you guys were making. And Up to today, we keep saying the same thing. I mean, Karin Leon, for us, is one of our good friends, and we, we love him for that, for the, giving us the, the chance to, you know what? These guys are probably starting up. They have one song, but I like their vibe. I like what they're doing. Let's try something out. And it turned out to be one of our biggest hits yeah. that we have right now. It's with him. So that was made. Something cool about that, as I'm not going to name the artist, Obviously, I'm not, right? But after No Se Va, we were looking for, like, people to work with. And a lot of people didn't want to give us a chance. But Karin Leon, like, yeah. he trusted us, you know? Like, he, he knew what we could have been. We have, a, we have a song with him now named Que Vuelvas. And it's one of our biggest songs. Why do you think people was hating? What do you think it, what do you think it is? Uh, everybody was saying it. I'm not I, even going to lie. I think it, Everybody thought yeah. we were just going to be a one-hit wonder. But they didn't see, like... I mean, I, you can hear musically. I mean, they could hear the talent sonically, like the in instrumentation, right? What, what would be a one-hit wonder about people bringing forward music that is already... Cause, cause because so that type of music that we were making was not being heard everywhere yeah, at the it. time. It was, it was like a local thing. And it was something like experimental. Maybe for a lot of people, like, ah, it's going to be... Novelty or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. it, was, it was music that was already existed, but it was like some... Because it it, there was already music out, right. like uh, ours, that came out, but they didn't, they didn't keep making music that got all, like, internationally. And ours started popping so much that, like, how are you going to bring another No Se Va? Like, another song, big song. That was, that was, that was the, biggest, the biggest thing. It was, was, at the time, we were like, okay, this song blew up all over the world, and we're getting messages from all over the world, what the heck are we going to do to match it? Or at least try to... Get on the same level. Yeah, get in on the same level just, just to keep going. So that was the thing. And then we release uh, Que Vuelvas, which is with Karin, and it takes off. And then we release the next one, and it takes, takes off. off. And we release the next one, and it takes off. It yeah. takes like four or five after that that we realize, <laughs> you know what, I think we're actually... We're actually Good at this, I think. Let's, let's we're keep trying. Yeah. yeah, we're staying like. But that's what made us realize it though, because Cumbia has been around forever. That's right. But I don't think that it's been to like the level that we took it to in a while. Like I feel like people were looking for something new, but they found something new in the old school. Well, and it's also too, I think a lot of it, the the songwriting clearly is great, but it's also you guys. I think, you know, it's 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 I think the audience, they see some young cats doing some cool You know what I mean? And it makes it, it feels, it's familiar music. It's music that's already loved by the community. And then you see some young cats making it. And it's like, oh, and it's not like, you know what I'm saying? You guys are wearing, still rocking dope sneakers. And, you know, you might throw your, you know, uh, your hats on or whatever. But you're still rocking gear that's right now. You're not trying to be like a bunch of old school cats. You're being, doing it young, and I think that has appeal too. That's why I think That's why I think all this uh, new Mexican music that's coming up that's, uh, that's hitting global records is for the same reason. Right. That uh, people are seeing, yeah, it might, be, it might still be Mexican music, but these guys are dressing up 
like pretty cool now. Like they're like this it's music not, is cool now. I don't think it's like they're like dressing up cool. I think it's the younger generation bringing it forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's not a. It doesn't feel like a costume. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, like it's not like you guys are playing a role. You're being yourselves from where you're from. It feels authentic. And I think we're living in a time right now where, musically, like. You know, everybody listens to all different types of genres. Like, if you say you only listen to one genre, you're a liar. But <laughs> um, I think also people are looking for something that feels real. I'm not going to lie. We pride ourselves on that because our songwriter, we make him struggle a little bit. But all the music we record, we record it together in the same room. You can feel that when you're listening to it. It sounds like you're hearing people do this right in front of you right now. And I think that's a big deal. Yeah, we used to do that from like right from the beginning. But we used to record on one track only. So if one person messed up, we had to record the whole thing all over again. Yeah. No sé now, now we record with different tracks. Like each person has their own track, but we don't play. But it's still the same we don't, part. We don't record one by one. We still record all Well, yeah, you got to have different tracks so you can mix it a certain yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. yeah. I would love to hear, let's go around. How did you get into Grupo Frontera individually? How did the group come together? Me and Beto were bored. Nah. <laughs> we, me and Beto we used to be in other bands. Carlos was in a band with me back in 2014. And Beto, I was in a band with Beto in 2018, so we were already, everybody had our jobs. I had, I was working at the ranch in Mexico, and Beto, well, he'll, he'll talk for himself right now. But, so I called Beto, hey man, let's make music for extra bucks. And he's like, yeah man, I, I, I take photography. And so that's how we started the band in 2021. Pretty much these guys were friends forever, these, these three, but at the time it was Beto and Juan trying to do, trying to do something in music. Beto was a photographer. He did quinceañeras and weddings and everything. He was like, you know what? I want a band so I can add it to my package and we can do the whole wow. weekend package. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you so learned I, that from your dad. He got the <laughs> shop. You didn't build it all together. So pretty much hustlers. he does that and we start, we start getting these gigs and then Juan calls Carlos and goes, you know what? Dude, this is my third band that I'm ever in and this is my last chance. Like if I don't, if I don't work this out, I'll go back to the ranch and we'll just forget about it. But he wow. goes, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Let's put music on YouTube. Let's just see what happens. And here we are. Juan, why did you feel like that was your last chance, bro? Man, because I've been we trying had, we so been, hard. Yeah, yeah, we had been going at it for a while. Me and him, we had a we had another band. How long? Would you say how many years? Like eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. I'm and right. after that. And so now, it. mom and dad and everybody looking at you sideways, like, really like, gonna yeah, keep doing like, this music, again, bro? Again, like, yeah. So at the time, me when he called me, he's like, "Hey, I know you're doing your thing," because I, I, I owned a trucking company, and I had like my own semis and stuff. Yeah, I'm married, and I and I had a newborn at the time, so I really depended on the money that I was that I was making. So when he calls me, and he's like, "Hey, I know you're doing your own thing. This, let's, this is a hobby. Like, we're just gonna get together." Once a week, we'll record some videos, I'll put them on YouTube. I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll do it. And he's like, but bro, like, I know I, because before this group, he had asked me to join some other ones. And I was like, you know what, bro, I'm not doing music. I mean, I'm just not doing that anymore. What was it about this time that made you? Because he told me, he's like, bro, trust me. Like, this is the last, like, last chance. Because he, they're the ones who formed the groups. He's like, he's like, just trust me. I don't know, I have a feeling uh, but I mean, if things things don't go the way I think they'll they'll go. I mean, it'll be the last one. I won't call you again with this. And again. then <laughs> January January 2022, this young boy next to me. I always loved music, bro. Like since I was little, my parents, my dad, got me into that. Like from the start, to be honest, there's videos of me as a baby, like singing at uh, the family functions and stuff like that. But since I since I always loved it, I would like I wouldn't look to get big or anything. I just wanted to post what I wanted to see, you know? And I'd post it on TikTok and a family friend, like one of my dad's friends, turns out to be Juan's cousin. And he would send Juan my TikToks and be like, my friend's son sings, like he's really good, no sé qué. And Juan, I remember because he told me like, maybe a month after I joined the group, he's like, nah, he would send me your TikToks and I'd be like, yeah, 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 whatever. And I wouldn't even watch him. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, okay, bro, bet. When Bio joins and we start listening to what was going on and we start practicing, the very first practice we have, we all look at each other like, what the hell did we just do? Like, this actually sounds good. Let's yeah. keep going. And we, were, and we were like, we all sat down. We were like, you know what? Let's try to take it serious. Let's actually sit down. Let's go buy clothes. Let's go do yeah, this. Yeah. Let's go do, he already had the cameras. So we were like, let's actually do a video. 
Like, let's go out there, start making videos. We'll dress up. We'll do everything. We'll make it nice and pretty. And let's do it. From my understanding, when you guys talk about uh, Cumbia Norteño, what is the difference between Cumbia Norteño and Tejano or Ranchero? What are those differences in those sounds? We say this a lot, too. This is, like, maybe a little bit off topic. But I feel like that's what makes us work, too, because we all have a different style that we personally like. Like, Beto... That mm, he loves the red hot chili peppers, bro. Rocket. Like he's yeah, he's a rocket. Julian, a lo que entiendo yo, he listens a lot to cumbia pero pegacera. Juan, growing up, he would listen to DMX. That's actually what inspired him to <laughs> want to play music. Carlos, I like a lot of country, like a lot of different, like you mm-hmm. know, different genres. So me playing the drums in the in the cumbia, I didn't learn playing drums cumbia. So I played r- real different because a lot of a lot of drummers that play cumbia. They were like traditional with cumbia, you know? And you guys got invited to do something super amazing by the yeah. president of Mexico, right? We, we played in the Zócalo, where it's the biggest event in Mexico because it's 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 something out of this world. Well, it's crazy how because you were mentioning about that we've been together for almost two years and seeing all of that happen. We were just in Coachella, I don't know when, and then now playing for the president. The first message I ever get like about what I'm doing, my dad. El presidente de México te, te subió su show. I was like, okay. <laughs> Everything else I've showed you, you don't care. Yeah, but nah, okay, nah, the cool. president, bro. I started getting a message from my grandma. I was like, yo, Mexico's president just uh, named you guys one of his favorite music. And every single day he makes a different show. I mean, a different announcement in the morning. He starts playing a different song of ours. Wow. For like three, four days in a row. And we're like, what's going on? What's That's going on? What's huge. going on? Fifth, sixth day after that, he says, and just uh, in case you guys didn't know, I'm announcing Grupo Frontera will be here for El Grito, which is the biggest. That's the celebration. It's huge. So when we when we got announced, we were, we were freaking out. I think another piece that's magical about this is, you know, I, I've heard talk. And, I, and, you know, a lot of cultures go through this where, you know, if you're Jamaican and you live in New York, Jamaicans in Jamaica don't think you're Jamaican enough. Yep. And if you're Mexican and you live in America, then Mexico, you know, Mexicans in Mexico don't think you're Mexican. Every group has it, right? If you're yeah. Chinese and you grew up in in America, Italian, you're not Chinese. Or, yeah. Italian, everybody's got it, right? And I think it's amazing, though, in this moment where the president of Mexico is embracing a group. While you guys are clearly from a town that's very close to Mexico. And for us, it's always been an issue where, where I've always said this, uh, you have to be more Mexican than Mexicans and you have to be more American than Americans. Yeah. And then just the fact that we're speaking English right now is a mess over there. Or if we speak Spanish, uh, yeah, we speak Spanish here, they make a mess. So we're like... All right, so what do you want us to do? I mean, like, well, I think that's where the beauty is in this moment. That's why I'm saying that because the president being like, "Yo, we're these are our people." Seeing your guys' camaraderie, uh, the way you're connected to one another, and the way everybody's got a role to play and a different personality and all that, I think that bodes very well for your future, man. It's a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you Thank for coming you. by. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks so too. much. Go look up Grupo Frontera on Apple Music right now. They are up next artists. <laughs> 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 <laughs>